Hi and welcome to another exciting Meditate with Marissa because March the 8th is my mother's birthday but it's also International Women's Day. So I thought for International Women's Day I wanted to make a meditation for all the women in the world to wake up the goddess within them. Why would I want to wake up the goddess I hear you ask? Well, you know, goddess is an interesting word. We think a goddess is beautiful and perfect and just gorgeous. A lot of women have this block, I, I can't really be a goddess, I don't look the part, I don't feel, I've got grey hair, I've had four kids, I've got cellulite. When we say he is a god, yeah we have an image of a guy that looks like a god, but for someone to have godlike qualities, they can have a power, a presence, and they don't have to look like a god at all. So I think it's kind of unfair for women that to be a goddess, there's this block about, I need to look like it. Rita Hayworth was a goddess, but you can be a goddess. And I want to wake up in you the sleeping goddess. I want to awaken your inner goddess. So on Women's Day on March the 8th, on an every day, you can go, I am a goddess. I can own being a goddess, act like a goddess, because you are a goddess. We're all goddesses, you know, here's a fact. The world wouldn't go on without women. The world could not continue without women. Your womb and the fact that you create life makes you so special. So let's do this amazing meditation. Let's start now. And usually you remember what we do. We press the third eye to impress upon ourselves what we want. We code in and call in what we want. We might rock side to side to erase and release old thoughts and sometimes they have people hold something in their hand but you know what this time don't hold anything because you don't need any prop to be a goddess you are a goddess just by the fact that you exist and you're female so you can have a prop if you want you can hold a picture of someone you think is a goddess or a crystal or something that embodies power but you also can just recognize that you are powerful enough. You have everything in you to create life, to make another person. One of my clients said, when I was pregnant with a baby, I realized that's the only chance I get in my life to be God. I'm making a person. And I thought, that's so cool, isn't it? She's right. When I'm making a baby, for that nine months, I feel like God, because I am bringing life into the planet. And even if you don't want to ever have children, you can still realize that you are a goddess. And the more you accept it, the more you can tap into it. So let's meditate right now on tapping into being a goddess. And remember, this is a guided meditation. You don't go anywhere. You don't do anything. You just be, because you know what? You're a human being, not a human going and not a human doing, a human being. So make yourself comfortable, close your eyes, keep your eyes closed. And with your eyes closed, remember you are going into a guided meditation. This is completely safe. It's a wonderful healing space for about the next 15 minutes. Do nothing but allow my voice to take you on a journey and to awaken to reignite, to reactivate, to regenerate, to recreate the goddess in you. We're gonna wake up that sleeping goddess. So as you go deeper, breathe in. Breathe out. And again, breathe in. Breathe out. The first thing you did when you were born on the planet was to breathe in, to take a breath, and then to give one. It's the most natural thing in the world. So let's just breathe for a little while. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. And as you breathe in, and breathe out. I want you to think about when you were created. When you were created in your mother's womb, somebody, and that someone is the universe, wanted you to be you. And they wanted you to be a girl. They wanted you to be female. They wanted you to become a woman. The universe that created you here 
that put you on the planet wanted you to be female. And here you are. And that universe that created you is going to support you in everything that you do, most of all knowing that you are a goddess. Just breathe and relax and breathe and relax. And let's think about what a goddess is. A goddess is kind, a goddess is wise, a goddess is present, and I know that you are all of those things, I know you're kind, I know you're wise, you know half of everything you learned in your entire life you learned before you were even five years old, and you went by 500 years in time, you'd be the queen of the whole tribe just because of what you know. You are wise and you are kind and you're here with me being present and you can feel love, you can give love and you can receive love and that makes you a goddess already. So keep going deeper and I want you to think about the phoenix rising from the flames. We know that image. This beautiful phoenix is rising from the flames. And I want you to think that somewhere dormant in you, a bit like Sleeping Beauty, is a goddess who's been asleep for too long and today she's waking up. She's waking up, taking a deep breath. Take that deep breath with me. Breathe in, breathe out. Take another deep breath and when we wake up, the first thing we do is open our eyes. And I want you to imagine in this meditation that when you do open your eyes, you see the truth about you. You see the beauty of you. You see these eyes that see the beauty in other people and they always, always, always see the beauty in you. When you open your eyes you see this big beautiful heart. You know hearts that have been broken, they're even better because when you break a muscle by exercise and you rest it and it grows back bigger and stronger and when you break a heart it just comes back bigger and stronger and the scars make your heart even more beautiful the sleeping goddess who is now awake is looking with wide open eyes at the beauty of herself now that your eyes are open you see the beauty of you with your big wide awake eyes you see that you have a kind heart a massive capacity for love as you give love you receive love the more love you give the more you get back the more you get back the more you have to give a goddess has arms that holds people you know my grandmother used to hold me in her arms it was the safest place in the whole world to be and she wasn't a skinny, beautiful, goddess-looking person. She was old and frumpy and out of shape. But being in her arms was the most beautiful place in the entire world for me. So I want you to think of who you've held in your arms and who you will hold in your arms. And I want you to think of your beautiful goddess voice. The people that you can make better with a kind word, with a smile, with a hug, because that is the goddess in you. You have arms to embrace people. You have a voice to soothe and comfort. You have a heart to share. You have hands to hold someone else's hand. Some are just touching someone on the shoulder, just holding them saying, I'm here, I've got it, I've got you. That's a goddess. The goddess gives love, gives support, gives comfort, gives care, and is there. And you could be the most beautiful, goddess-looking person in the world, and it would be nothing 
if you didn't have the goddess qualities or you could have gray hair and you could be 75 years old and you can be a goddess. A goddess is someone like Louise Hay, who cares, who makes an impact, who has compassion and wisdom. So again, with your big, beautiful eyes, look at all the things you are. You're kind, caring, wise, interesting, interested. You have sparkly eyes that see the beauty of the world. You have a kind voice, you have a smart mind. And your smart mind knows what to say and do in so many situations. Your arms to hold people, a heart that cares. You have wisdom running through you like a river running through your veins. You have legs and feet that take you on a journey that take you anywhere you want to go. And you have a womb where you may have, where you may plan to create a new life. And even if that isn't for you, the fact that you have a womb and could do what God does and make a person makes you so godlike. Godlike, goddess-like, it doesn't matter. Just stay in this deep meditation, breathing in, breathing out, and looking at the goddess who is now wide awake. Sleeping beauty woke up and she got kissed by a handsome prince. But this princess saves herself. This goddess doesn't need a prince to wake her up because you're awake right now to the possibilities of you, to the endless possibilities of you. And I want you to hear a little song in your head now, The Wonder of You. It's the wonder, the wonder of you. And if you're not sure of that song, download it. When we meditate again, so I want you to make that your theme tune. It's been sung by many people. But I want you, every time you play this meditation, to think about the wonder of you. And then I want you to take your two fingers and I want you to press them on the spot right in between your eyebrows and to impress upon yourself the wonder of you, the amazingness of you, the goddess within you. Impress upon your mind that you are a goddess. I want you to instruct, impress your mind. And I want you to call in, to code in. This knowing you're a goddess, I want you to insist that you feel like a goddess, to let your mind know that what you insist on, what you require of yourself, is to recognize that you are a goddess, you always have in the minute you were created and for the rest of your long wonderful life you will always have a goddess within you you will always have goddess like qualities of warmth compassion caring insight and wisdom so again impress upon yourself that you are a goddess there is nowhere to go nothing to do the goddess is within you. And I want you to call in, to code in to yourself those goddess-like qualities. Just take a minute and say to yourself, I am a goddess. I always have been. I always will be. I have everything that makes a goddess in me. I don't have to go anywhere or do anything don't have to add anything or take anything away because I am a goddess right now. Just say that with me. I am a goddess. I'm a goddess now. I will always be a goddess. And as you go deeper, just notice the moments in your day 
when you really are a goddess, when you're feeding your family, when you're making food for other people, that's a goddess. And when you're at work, whatever you're doing, you're earning a living. You're empowered. You're a powerful goddess-like woman. You can drive a car, operate machinery, earn your own money, pay your own bills, make another person, feed that person, raise that person. You can make love to another person and connect your body with their body and you can feel so much. You can hold people in your arms. You can do everything. You're a goddess. If you went back in time, you'd be the queen of everything you survey because you're a goddess. When you're taking a bath or a shower, feel that celebration of the goddess you are. Anoint yourself with oils, use wonderful fragrances. When you're getting dressed or undressed, put on some music dance around the house, look at your body in front of a mirror and look at all the beautiful things this body does. Step into your power. Don't hide your body. Embrace it. Love it. Look in the mirror and look at your eyes, your smile, the hands that hold people, the arms that wrap around people. There are so many ways to feel like a goddess when you're driving your car, when you're cycling, when you're doing yoga, when you're doing grocery shopping, you are providing, feeding, nourishing people's bodies and nourishing their soul. And remember again, if you went back 500 years by mistake today, you would be the queen Wherever you land, you'd be the queen of any tribe you landed in. You know why? Because you know so much. You've come a long way, baby. Because you're a goddess. I want you now to just start to sway from side to side, the way you might move to some beautiful rhythmic music, the way people self-soothe. And as you move from side to side gently, slowly, I want you to know that this movement is erasing, eradicating, eliminating, and releasing any limiting beliefs. As you move from side to side, you are erasing, eliminating, eradicating any block, any old stuff, anything you heard or felt or experience that could have or would have got in the way of you connecting with your own goddess within you. So just erase, eradicate, eliminate. Let all those old blocks go. Let all those misconceptions wash off you like water in the shower till they're all behind you. And like water in the shower you last took as you erase and eradicate and eliminate and release. You can never go back and get that water back again because it's gone now. It's out of your life. It's all behind you. So one more time, remember you press a spot between your eyes to impress upon yourself that you're a goddess. Do it again right now. And while you're pressing, call in, code in what you require of yourself, what you insist on for yourself. Instruct your mind. Impress upon your mind what it is that you really want, how much you wish to, and insist on accepting the goddess within and you can even erase, you can even move side to side while you're pressing, so you're simultaneously impressing upon yourself, coding in, calling in, and erasing, eradicating, eliminating, shattering, smashing, ending forever, old blocks, old limiting beliefs, old negative thoughts that cannot serve you 
And as you let them go and just impress one more time that you're a goddess, just let it in. You're letting the old thoughts go. You're letting new thoughts in. And there you are, a beautiful goddess. You know, the more you do this, the easier it is. The easier it is, the more you do it. And then you know what's even more beautiful. In no time at all, this is not what you do. This is who you are. So take a few minutes now and just really feel the goddess in you. That powerful woman like Venus. Like a goddess coming out of the sea. Whatever pictures you've seen of goddesses. Whatever images you have of goddesses, imprint yourself into that image. Because when you know you're a goddess, when you know it, accept it and believe it, other people will know it too. And you know the most important opinion is yours. The most important words you will ever hear are yours. And when you know you're a goddess, everyone else will know it too. But the only person who needs to know it is you and me. And I know it and you know it. I see the goddess in you and you can see the goddess in you. It's there and you can see it. So now you can take as long as you like to go deeper, a few more minutes, many minutes. This is your time. And if you want to, you can just slowly open your eyes. And as you open those big, beautiful, all-seeing eyes, you see the goddess in you, in everything you do, in everything you say, because it's who you are. So we're going to meditate again tomorrow. Remember, your mind learns by repetition. If you want to have something in your hand like a crystal or a picture of a goddess, you can, but remember, you don't need to add anything to you to be a goddess because you are. You always will be. See you tomorrow. Happy goddesses. See you soon.